You're watching WMAR 2 News. Mayor Brandon Scott released a statement on that deadly shooting in downtown Baltimore Thursday. We know that a confrontation between a driver and a squeegee worker broke out in the street. The driver drove off, parked their car, and went after the worker with a bat. That's when the squeegee worker allegedly pulled out a gun and shot the driver. Mayor Scott says, regardless of what caused this incident, it is a sad reminder that far too often, easily avoidable confrontations escalate into acts of violence. And this shooting is just one of several deaths that we have seen in the Inner Harbor. Let's go back to June when 25 year old Ryan Harris was shot to death not far from where today's incident happened. It happened near East Redwood at Calvert. Harris was an, an IT specialist in the Army Reserve. People who work with him say he was a good guy with two young kids who was just trying to be a good soldier. Then in May, several teenagers were shot and one of them killed here at the Inner Harbor. A 17 year old boy, Neil Mack, was rushed to the hospital but died because of his injuries. Two other teens were also shot, but they made it. Officials were able to arrest at least one other teenager in connection with Mack's death. For the last time as the governor, Governor Hogan voted today. The governor, accompanied by his wife Yumi, came to Annapolis Middle for early voting. Early voting was sparse, but organized well in Annapolis. When the governor first became governor, they didn't even have early voting like we do today. He is a big supporter of this now. Look, I think it's a great idea, and uh, we haven't had any of the problems that you know people are talking about around the country. Maryland, you know, we we counted the votes, we got them done. But one third of the people voted by mail, one third voted uh, early, and the rest of them voted on election day. And uh, you know, I think we ought to have as many ways as possible for people to cast their ballot. Any person that is registered to vote can vote early. You can even register to vote at a voting site during early election. Early voting runs through July 14th. In-person sites are open from 7 until 8 p.m. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're attack tracking a mainly dry Friday morning and afternoon and early evening as temperatures are going to start off in the low 70s warming into the mid 80s as you push into the afternoon daytime highs will crest in the uh, mid 80s here 88 degrees here in the city of Baltimore and then we're tracking those showers and thunderstorms moving in overnight into your Saturday that's where we pick up one to three inches of rain eventually drying out by Sunday highs in the mid 80s through Monday. And click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.